For the first example, we are going to identify the following numbers and choose all that apply. These numbers could be natural number, whole number, integer, rational number, irrational number, real number, or undefined, or maybe two or more. Let's categorize them using the diagram in figure one. As you see, the setup of real numbers consists of rational number and irrational numbers. Rational number is a number that can be written in the decimal form, either terminating or repeating. And also that has a subset as the integers, whole numbers, and natural numbers. The lowest one or the smallest one is the natural number or the set of the counting number. The members are number one, two, three, and so forth. Or we call this is a set of positive integer. If we have zero as another member, this set is called the whole number set. If we include the negative integers to the whole number set, it becomes the integer set and use the notation Z. Other numbers that not integers, it also in the rational numbers. So then for the group of the rational number, it consists of either integer or whole number or natural number. If it is the natural number, it's also the whole number, it's also an integer, and it's also the rational number. For the, rational, for the irrational number, that is not rational. That, for example, the number square root 2, the cube root of 5, the pi, or e, e is the Euler number or 2.718 and so forth. Pi is about 3.1415 and so forth. The non-repeating, non-terminating decimal. Now for the set of the numbers that provided in example one, we are going to identify the type of those numbers. For example, number negative nine. Negative nine is not the natural number because it's not positive. And it's not a whole number, but it is one of the integers. So a negative nine will be in the group of the integer number. Integer number is also rational, is also the real number. In part B, given a number zero over two, or exactly zero, zero is not natural, but zero is the whole number. If it is a whole number, it is an integer. If it is an integer, it's also rational. The rational number is always a real number. Next one, two over zero. Any real number divided by zero is undefined. If it is undefined, we check off the last box, so it's not either rational or irrational. Part D, negative one over seven. Is negative sign, so it's not natural number, it's not the whole number, and it's not an integer. If it's not an integer, but it's still in the decimal form or the terminating on, on uh, repeating decimal. So we're gonna use negative 107 as one of the rational number. If it is the rational number, it's also the real number. The last one, three times square root five, the radical five make it irrational. So square, three times square root five will be in this group. So then we're going to put it as the irrational number and also the real number.